Hi ladies, today I'm going to talk to you about back pain. Back pain is massively common uh, both during pregnancy and after you've had the baby postpartum. So the exercises I show you today will actually be applicable for those of you who are pregnant um, and those of you who are postpartum. So the reasons for this back pain, um, I put it down to three factors which actually happen during pregnancy. So during pregnancy, you obviously get the um, change in shape of the abdomen, so you get extra weight at the front of your body. This causes your um, abs to stretch and weaken, and then it causes your back muscles, your multifidi, to get super, super tight. Um, they're overcompensating for these muscles at the front, and they just kind of take over, do all of the work, get really tight to the point that they literally give up. Okay, the second reason is the change in shape of your pelvis during pregnancy. So I'll just stand up to show you this one. Um, so if I roll my top up like this. So neutral pelvis is like this, okay? When you're pregnant, you tend to adopt or slip into an anterior pelvis. So your pelvis pulls forwards, okay, like this. This position actually makes it a lot more difficult for your brain and your core to communicate. So it makes it more difficult for your, uh, your core muscles, your, your deep core muscles to fire up. So this is the, um, the slip into the anterior tilt of the pelvis is one of the reasons for core dysfunction. Okay, the third reason for this back pain is due to relaxing, pregnancy hormone. So relaxing, um, loosens off joints, mu muscles, ligaments, and we, we see a lot of this, obviously around the pelvis, your pelvis has to loosen off a lot to accommodate with the birth of your baby. Um, obviously, the looser this area is, the, there's a hell of a lot of instability, and your lower back is all part of this, okay, of this unit. So the reasons for back pain, we'll look, back pain, we're looking again at the instability called, caused by relaxing, the shift into an anterior tilt of your pelvis causing core dysfunction, and then just these weak, overtired, um, tight lower back muscles, okay? As I say, all of these changes have happened during pregnancy, but then once you've had the baby, it's not like it all just kind of miraculously changes overnight. Unfortunately, um, you still have these issues and then it can get a hell of a lot worse, which is usually down to postures during the postpartum period. So a lot of the time we kind of slump on a chair when we're breastfeeding, you know, you're tired, you're lifting the baby up, everything gets a little bit kind of compromised um, and that's not going to do your lower back any good at all. You've also got the core dysfunction, which continues into the postpartum period. Okay, so we need to do, we always need to do a lot of work with lower back in the postpartum period. These exercises I'm going to show you now, they, luckily they are all, I'd say easy, they're, they're all quite basic, but lower back exercises don't really involve a hell of a lot of energy. You can do these at any point postpartum and during your pregnancy. Just really good to get the movement um, through your lower back and also just keep that strength there. Okay, so I'm going to start on all fours. I'm going to actually roll my top up to do this just so you can see um, what my lower back and my core are doing while we're doing this. So we're just going to start off with a little bit of mobility work with your cat and cow. These are quite nice and they just relieve, you can feel the movement relieving that pain straight away. So use your breath, take an inhale and then exhale, lift your spine. Four more times, inhale, raise head and chest. Exhale, spine lift. Inhale. Really get that range of movement. Exhale. Two more, long inhale. Long exhale. As much movement as you can. Inhale, last one. And we exhale. Now from that position, I want you to try and get a neutral spine. So as I, sh as I showed you before, 
your anterior tilt is like this with your bum in the air. That's what we're trying to work against. To get your neutral spine, use your breath. Take an inhale. As you exhale, engage your pelvic floor and pull your spine into a neutral position. Okay, this is getting your core fired up to start with. Now to challenge that core and work your lower back muscles a little bit longer to get the strength back, you're going to take your knees slightly off the floor. So we're going to inhale. And then as you exhale, your knees float off. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Float the knees down, take one breath. And remember, if you check out while I'm doing this, there's no movement in my spine. So let's go again, take an inhale. Exhale, lift the knees, squeeze the core, spine doesn't move. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly float it down, we'll do one more time. Take a long inhale. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Core, pelvic floor, knees float off. Five, four, three, two, one. The knees float down. Now I haven't lost my neutral spine position, so I'm not going to straight away collapse into the anterior tilt. Keep your spine strong, keep your shoulders wide, keep your core tight. Okay, what we're going to do is take an inhale and then exhale one leg out to extension. Inhale back. Now this might look really, really easy, but you're keeping stability around your spine and pelvis. Okay, so we're really working on that stability, which is one of the things you really need to improve, obviously, in your postpartum recovery. One more rep with this leg. We exhale it out. Okay, hold it in extension. Your core's tight, your pelvis is neutral, and then exhale the opposite arm. If you can, lift that foot off the ground, but try not to slip into that anterior tilt. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. And with stability, we slide the arm back and we slide the leg back. Now you're still not gonna lose your neutral spine. Okay, you're gonna keep going. Take an inhale. Exhale the second leg to extension. Inhale. Exhale, and there's no movement in my lower back as I'm doing this. Okay, two more. Exhale, slide. Inhale. Exhale, now hold it there. Again, if this movement's easy, you're probably not working the right muscles to do it well. Take an exhale, lift the leg, don't pull into your lower back. Inhale, and then exhale the opposite arm. Squeeze your core, work on your stability. Three, two, one, and then we pull back to the centre with the arm, back to the centre with the knee, and then you can relax off. Okay, next one, we're gonna turn onto your back. Okay, so just position yourself flat, and we're gonna work with the breath, because we always do when we're working your core, of course your lower back is part of your core. So take an inhale, exhale, squeeze and brace. So in that brace, you're achieving that neutral spine position to help the core fire up. Inhale again. Exhale, lift. Squeeze through the glutes. You're working that lower back. Hold it there and breathe for five, four, three, two, one. We're going to lower it down slowly and you're going to do five roll-ups. So take an inhale. And as you exhale, squeeze and lift. Don't lose neutral spine. Remember, you need your core to keep firing up. Inhale and exhale. Two more times. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. And this time we're going to hold it again for five, four, Three, two, one. Lovely guys, roll that vertebrae down. And then just draw your knees in towards your chest. If you're pregnant, take your knees slightly wider. Lift your head up towards your knees. Give it a nice stretch. Awesome. 
And what we're going to do is repeat that circuit through two more sets.